Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be talking about something that's pretty important that I've been seeing going around. People wondering about this certain thing that you guys are already seeing in the title. And a lot of YouTubers are not talking about it. And by a lot of YouTubers, I mean none of them are, I think. Other than me, at this point. So, I'm hoping at least this will... This is basically a PSA to global players. Hopefully this will reach out to more players. And be sure to share it out to people who are needing help with this current subject, but yeah. Somni Prisms. They sound amazing in the current game of Global. Yes. Amazing. You can get one 5 star, even a limited time unit, and just right to 7 star. For basically for free, because you're not, I mean, it's not free, but basically free. Uh, there's, there's a downside to that, and the the value of Omni Prisms are going to start going down like this because of a certain thing called Neovision. And if you have been living under a rock, uh, Neovision is the newest rarity on the JB side. And let's go ahead and uh, get into something here. So, so in uh, Neovision era, you start out summoning Neovision units. And they are their own rarity, so there is no need to use an omniprism. There is no omniprism in the equation there. Um, to get to an older rarity Neovision unit, you need multiples of the same unit. So in essence, you could potentially use omniprism in that sense to get to, to Neovision if you have three of a unit. Otherwise, you can't use an omniprism to get to Neovision directly, only indirectly. So in that situation, maybe, but other than that, like you can't use Omniprisms on base Neovision units because they don't you need Omniprisms. They don't upgrade in that way anymore. They upgrade in their own specific way of having more of the same units to get upgrades of their EX and stuff like that. So this is just a PSA for you guys. Hopefully you guys will understand that Omniprisms may not be worth it to you look for much longer because Neovision apparently is coming a lot faster than maybe 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 everybody thought. Uh, where is Daisy? Where is Pwn? Should have had both of them at this point, and neither of them are in the game. So, I don't know what they're going to be doing, but I do feel like now I'm a little on the iffy side if they're going to be coming to the game as fast as not. Uh, so, I'm, if, I'm, if that's the case, Omni Prisms are definitely not worth 10k Lapis. Uh, if you guys are on the fence, like, oh, I don't know if I want to go for Omni Prisms or not. Uh, 10,000 lapis for an Omni Prism, I, I, I might go for it. Uh, I would definitely recommend not to go for it. Especially if you have a decent roster already, you really don't need to go for it. And 10k lapis is quite a lot. You could be saving towards a banner of the future instead. So, I'm just trying to tell you guys that Omni Prisms are nearly worthless now on the JB side. They're really only used for, like, maybe, you know, if you have three of a unit and you want an STMR and you don't want a UOC. Or if you want a UOC unit and Omni Prism, get a 7 star and then STM or it or something like that. It's like, it's, a, it's basically just, it's not as good as it used to be. It's not powerful as it used to be. So, this is for, this is for anyone who's wondering. Yeah, Omni Prisms seem like they're strong and global, but they're trying to make it seem like that way. They're trying to make you pull it, you know, buy into the bundles of 10k Lapis, 10k Lapis, 10k Lapis, 10k Lapis. You have all these Omni Prisms. And then a few months, you're like, I have all these Omni Prisms. Where I, this is like the Mega, mega Lecture situation uh, from Pokemon. So I have all these um, Omni Prisms. Now what do I do with them, right? Now what? Well, if there's no collaborations that you want to go for in, in the next few months, and now you have now you have like two Omni Prisms and you have nothing to use them on, so you, you just spent that 20k lapis on nothing. So. Hopefully this is going to help you guys out. I'm trying to make this as short as possible so it'll be easily digestible and for me or you'll be able to watch the video because a shorter video usually gets better views. Kappa. XD. Anyways, um, that's it. I would I would just highly recommend not going for Omni Prism bundles. If you want to skip all the way to the end of this, just do not go for them. I just feel like, especially for free to play, if you're like a paid player, I mean, you can just get it easily, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but this is mainly for free to play. Uh, I would not recommend going for Omni Prism bundles ever, anyway, at this point. Um, UOCs are just fine, you can get, you can just get Prism from UOCs and stuff like that, and 
I mean, it doesn't really cost you anything because you get those for free in the game. Over a course of time, of course, but you still get them. Anyways, guys, that's about wrapping it up. If you guys have any other questions or any kind of situations where like, oh, I still want to get an Omni Prism, but maybe I want to do it for this situation, please leave that down in the comment section down below. I'm here to help you guys out. If you watch all the way through to the end of this video, please type in the comment section, hashtag Omni. Hashtag Omni will be the keyword for the ending of this video. Thanks for guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.